If you had access to a time machine, what would you do? There are multiple stories about time travel, and if they are to be believed, then there are already time travelers who are visiting us. This is episode 2 of Stories of Time Travelers, and without wasting any time, let's dive into this video. Number 1, two professors travel back in time. In 1901, two professors from St. Hugh College in Oxford, England, went to visit the Palace of Versailles. Mary Antoinette, one of the last royals to live there, was executed in 1793. So on that day in 1901, when professors Annie Moberly and Eleanor Jordan were walking the grounds of the palace, they did not expect to see Mary Antoinette. They saw her in the flesh just chilling out on the stool outside a private retreat built for Antoinette by her husband Louis XVI and yet there she was sitting and sketching and completely oblivious to the fact that two women were gaping at her and all the other people in 1780s period attire who had appeared just as suddenly as Antoinette Antoinette and everyone else disappeared when a tour guide approached Moberly and Jordan together they wrote a book an adventure about their experience and the story gained notoriety because of how grounded it seemed these were two highly educated and well respected women they wouldn't just make up a story like that so what was it did they actually travel through time number 2 journalist who experienced future war journalist j bernard hatton and a photographer were sent by a german newspaper to do a story on the Hamburg shipyard in 1932 it was an uneventful visit until the bombs began raining down on them hatton and brand realized they were caught in the middle of an air raid and hightailed it out of there but not before snapping some photographs when they got back to the center of hamburg no one believed their story they developed the photos they took intending to prove to everyone that they weren't crazy in fact They proved the opposites and the photos showed no sign of an air raid. 11 years later in 1943, Hutton was living in London when he opened up a newspaper and probably nearly spit his coffee across his desk. There was a story about Operation Gomorra, an air raid on Hamburg. The accompanying photos looked exactly like what he experienced in 1932. Number 3, The Man from Torrett. In 1954 a man was trying to get through customs at Haneda Airport in Japan when he had a bit of trouble with the custom agents It wasn't because he forgot to declare something on his customs form but because he claimed to be from a country that didn't exist and he had a passport and stamps to prove it His passport was from a country named Torrid which he claimed was in between Spain and France When customs officials pulled out a map and asked him if he meant Andorra, he became angry. He said that yes, the location was right, but Torrid had existed for at least 1000 years. He had never heard of Andorra. He was given a hotel room for the night while the police tried to figure out what was happening. Even though there were armed guards posted outside his room, the man had vanished by the next morning. His passport which has been stored in the security office at the airport was also gone. Officials never figured out the mystery of the man from Torrid. So these were some time travel stories and we don't know if these are real or just an illusion or hoax. That sometime you have to decide for yourself and no time travel stories can be conclusively proven. Let us know in the comment section what do you think. If you want to see more such videos then subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.